Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and this is part 11 of Elastic Search. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. You can press the subscribe button. You can also press the bell icon to get the notification. Thank you. Now let's proceed with today's session. In to today's session is a continuation of my previous session on query DSL. So in today's session, I'll be talking about the compound query. I've already covered the term level query. In the compound query, I'll be taking Boolean query. In the Boolean, Boolean query, we have must, must not, should, filter, minimum, should match. So I'll be taking all these terms in one query and I'll be showing you how it works. So I don't want to waste your time. So that's why I've already created a query with all these conditions. So let me show you how it comes and by giving spiking some simple example and simple hands on. Now let's take bull. That's how up in the query inside the query since it's a query DSL part. It should come inside the query. Bull query bull with must wherever must ends. I can start the filter wherever filter ends. I can use another boolean query that it should. So if my requirement is something should must match and I'm giving filter, I'm giving should, I can use all these together. Okay, I can also use one at a time, must, only must inside. Okay, I can give anything, must. Inside the must is, in, must here, see, must is an array. It, it can also take single must okay this is also fine this, this will also work now I'm missing something right okay this is an array this is this it can also take a single uh, single condition to get matched or to get uh, matched to my require requirement okay also the should should is a kind of uh, it, it is an array should is array i cannot give a single condition to get matched in should because should is like um, comparing something i'm comparing this with this either or like or or it's a or condition must is must it should match my record must have must be it, it must have this condition to get matched but inside should Either this, it, if if it uh, if it matches this, I'm okay with the result. If it is matches or it matches this, I'm okay with the result. So this is a difference between must. I it can take only one condition at a time, at a time. In, but in the should, I should I must have to give two condition to get compare or to get uh, you know or to to uh, match my or condition. This or this. No let's come to this part here i'm taking one scenario in which i'm giving in must condition i'm giving i'm matching now in, inside the must or should or filter i can use any query dsl part full uh, either term level query or full text query i can give anything means here i'm using match you can also use term term query uh, query string query match anything prefix blah 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 anything okay it depends on you now in the must condition i'm taking only one must condition that matches my last updated timestamp with this means my record must have this field and with this value okay now in the filter condition in the filter condition here i am giving range this is a term level query and the range i'm giving i'm defining the range greater than equal to or less than equal to okay this is my filtering i'm filtering my record on the basis of this condition now in should condition i am giving the first name either the first name should have olivia or the gender or the gender of the record is male means olivia if either the first name is olivia or gender is male olivia is not a not a male okay olive is a female means i want to fetch a record fetch, fetch some record in which uh, in the female i only want the olivia's record or i want all the males record okay not female not a single female in female i want only olivia's record so what happens 
I'm ge I'm getting the result which contain this. It's a must condition. Filtering on the basis of this. Okay. Now it is giving me or condition this one Olivia's record. Now what if I don't write Olivia? I want Olive. Still I'm getting the result. So what happened in the should condition? If the should condition is present with filter and must, then how should condition works? Either this or this else nothing i'm okay with this if it doesn't match any of this i'm okay with the result this is how should condition uh, works now we also have in the bull query minimum should match here i'm defining minimum should condition matches one means either this or this at least one should match so i don't have any record with olive now if i writing olivia i will get one record right olivia so that's why we use minimum should uh, match okay this is i'm here i'm not using this just to show you either this or this or nothing while it while should comes with filter or must now what happen if i remove this okay hope this is fine yeah now let's search i'm getting and number of result i'm getting five total five record okay in which the first name is olivia john is a male means it is matching it is matching olivia or male wherever it finds not olivia but also male i'm getting the result but what what if i'm not writing it in a proper way i'm not neither this nor this kind of okay not match oh i don't have i'm not getting any result so what i said previously if the should condition is coming with filter and match then it will ignore its uh condition to get match it's, it will ignore its comparison it can ignore if either it matches this or it matches this or it matches nothing i'm okay with the result my if result will come if i'm having filter and must but if i'm using it alone not with filter not with a filter or must query then i cannot keep the condition which doesn't matches at all i should have at least one condition which matches okay so either this or this hope i made you clear okay so that's that's how should must filter query works and minimum ma should match so if you have any doubt you can post your question in the comment section thanks for watching today's session if you like the session please please press the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel so thank you for watching today's session